My understanding of youth leadership would be something like like a young person taking initiative. It's just young people getting involved in the whole thing and having a voice. And having a voice as a young person is quite difficult because not many people take you seriously. So. I'm an adult. I don't know what young people are into necessarily. The most important result of young people having a hand in activities is that they could become more independent. I think youth participation is about young people taking control of their own lives and their own destiny and their own future. And you have to kind of um, live up to your responsibilities. Because we're the ones actually participating and doing it. It's what we're doing. We should have control over what we do. I think youth participation is at all different sorts of levels. Even passive participation, sitting in an audience, sitting and listening to something. But the real, real valuable, or uh, well, the value of participation is when young people actually get a chance to do something. There's a lot of elements of youth participation that are in the event that we are at today. And you've seen that through the participations of the partners that we have who work with young people. If there's anything that's going on, I make sure that I am um take part like even today coming to this event you know I've put myself up to DJing. If someone said to me I don't understand what youth participation means I'd say basically it's young people being in charge of what activities are run for other young people so they're actually kind of running the activities thinking of what is going to be going on. As an example I've been in the blocko for four years now and I've been a choreographer of one of the dances and me being able to create the dance has made me be able to teach it more effectively because it's my creation. Finding out what, what young people want to be involved in is always the first step. I think to go in and present an opportunity that you think is good for them isn't always that helpful. The first step is say, right, what do young people in this area want to do or what do individuals want to do? It has to be with them involved in the whole thing for me really, like they need to decide what it is that they want to do and how they're going to do it and obviously that's directed by us as professionals but if they don't have an integral role in every area of it then it's not participation. We have one young man now who's uh, Got cerebral palsy, he's wheelchair bound and uh, so on and so forth and he's taken over developing the music in his uh, day centre for all the other young people that are there and getting them switched on to music and getting them involved. So that's a real example of somebody volunteering to participate and taking, taking real control. He's 19. The longer term benefits are much greater, I think, you know, you get a sense of um, increased responsibility, self-esteem, confidence, commitment, all of those things from young people. So the benefits to society at large are very significant, I think. The key result of youth participation is young people becoming leaders, feeling involved, feeling that they have a say in what's going on in their lives, what's going on in their society. The main outcome from youth participation, or the best outcome anyway, is that it gives everyone uh, an opportunity to pursue their interests. I do think that people forget that the young generation are going to become the next adults and say what happens. If there's things that you know you want to get done, you should proactively go out and seek information about how to do it and go ahead and do it. Don't wait around for adults to do it because they might not even do it anyway.